I want to just to explain a little bit about uh, the whole message so that she can understand and so that we can be raised together with her. And uh, before I even explain, I want to say that is our work. Praise the name of the Lord. God speaks to us in so many different ways, but I feel in my spirit there is something God wants to do in our lives and in our families. And uh, those messages that have been coming, they are messages to prepare us for what God is about to do in our lives. God is about to take us into another level and he releasing a new glory in our lives. Deuteronomy chapter 15, where she have learned and uh, we said from verse four, if you read the entire story, it has started by, it is God who was giving the children of Israel instructions because God, the intention of God was to bless them and to expand their territories and to prosper them. And he told them, or rather the message was, or if I can give it a, a title, it is release it, let it go. Praise the name of the Lord. And here in Deuteronomy chapter 15, it talks about uh, how God was giving the children of Israel the instruction. And it says that was the time of releasing. And it talks about the poor and those people who are rich. And it talks about it is the time of releasing the, the debt or allowing those people who owe them anything, any kind of debt, to, for them to let them go, to, not to follow them, not to ask them anything, but to let them go because they are poor, they cannot able to pay. And here, God is speaking unto us and he is telling us, whatever you are holding, maybe it is not a debt. Maybe it is you have a grudge with somebody because he did something or she did something to you. Maybe it is a family members. Whatever you feel you are holding, God is telling us to release it, to let it go. And when we release it, God is going to bless us. And the message has continued to emphasize on that, that God is about to bless us. God is about to do something new in our lives. There's a miracle that is about to be released, but we are holding it. We are the one who is holding it or rather preventing that miracles from coming to us because we are not releasing. That's what we are holding in our hand. You know, there's somewhere in the Bible that says, if you have a, a, anything against your brother, before you go to offer a sacrifice, go and settle down with him or her. That means you have to release him. You have to be clear in your heart. You have to be, uh, to have no sin or any grudge or any, and rather, let me use the, uh, the spirit of unforgiveness, because in this case, God is speaking unto us about unforgiving spirit. If you have a, uh, anything to do uh, with your brother or sister, you are holding him or her because of something he did or she did to you let her go, release it. Any debt you, somebody owe, owe you, let it go. And you know, when it comes to, as you say, when you talk about money, money brings a lot of things to our right. But I feel and I believe what God is asking us and telling us this day and this morning is let it go, release it. God is about to bless you. 
God is about to release that miracle that you have been waiting. Maybe you are sick. You have been praying God to heal you. But God is asking us to let it go. That's what you have been holding against your brother, against your sister. And that thing that, is, uh, that have been oppressing you. You cannot even sleep because of it's something somebody did to you. God is asking us and he is commanding us, let it go so that we can be blessed. In, uh, in other words, God is asking us, when we release, God is going to intervene. And that's what happened to your life or somebody did to you. God is coming to heal you. He's coming to give you peace. He is coming to give you joy. He is coming to cover that gap of that thing that have been uh, oppressing you. The message is let it go and God is coming to bless you. And also, uh, I would like us to go and read that uh, Deuteronomy chapter 15. Again, from verse one, all the way to almost uh, verse 20, it talks about releasing and there is a leech one there that is giving us instruction because God wants us, uh, he wants to bless us. And again, she have uh, a lead John, uh, John 11 from verse one. It is a story about, uh, of Lazarus. We know the, the story. And now uh, she have emphasized about uh, Mary the Magdalene. Was it Mary? No, the mother, mother, sister of Mary. The way she could not accept or believe the ones of Jesus Christ. And she, when she, Jesus told her that if she believed, all things are possible with God and Lazarus would be raised from death. But she had doubts because with her, she was, you know, thinking and, uh, looking at the things naturally, and she knew uh, somebody who have died and have stayed in the tomb for four days, how can he come back to life? But she was forgetting, she was speaking with the one who give life. And Jesus was telling her, just believe, let the doubt come out of you, release it, let it go. And Lazarus will be released back to life. And Jesus, he did as he was promising or as he was telling her. Now, the word is here. If we believe that word that Jesus spoke and we put it in our heart, we believe in it, that thing that has been holding us, that thing that has been oppressing us, it will come out of us and we are going to receive the miracle. Just as Lazarus was uh, raised and he was brought back to life, we are going to receive a miracle. We are going to be healed. We are going to receive that miracle of our, uh, maybe it's financial miracle that you need. Maybe it's, uh, you have a case, maybe you have, it doesn't matter what is, disturbing you or that thing that looked like a mountain. The word has come forth. Let it go. God will intervene and you will receive your miracle. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And what I know is when God has spoke, he always for his one to come and perform it. Praise the name of the Lord. Get hold of that word. Believe in it. And know today is your day to receive your miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, I can feel something is happening. I can feel is that weight of a miracle, something have come forth. Just believe and receive. In Jesus' name. Again, Mama Dennis, may God bless you so much. 
that is our one and it have come at the right time god have given you that one because he he loves us so much and he want to change our situation and i want to believe by that before the end of this year we are going to be people who will be singing a new song and as you have said you cannot wait to hear those testimonies i promise you they are coming because i want to believe god is coming to change our situations and our lives and to bless us in the mighty name of jesus are you blessed yes. have you received the word of god believe it and it will happen to you as you believe in jesus name